and i take this opportunity to thank and welcome madam president shrimati draupadi murmu ji for having graciously accepted to release the commemorative coin of my late father shri nt ramarao garu i would also like to take this opportunity to thank the national president of bharti janata party shri jagat prakash nadda ji who has graced this occasion and has been a source of strength for me all through my journey in bharti janata party i would also like to take this opportunity to thank each one of my family who's been here whose presence has actually made this occasion a very memorable one a one that cannot be forgotten in life i also should be thanking god on this occasion for having given me an opportunity not once but twice to pay my respects to my late father shri nandamuri tarak ramarao garu he lives in our hearts but yet there was one occasion when we were able to install his statue in the parliament which was a momentous moment for me and again today when we are having the commemorative coin on his name released on his centenary year i think this has been god sent opportunity to me and a blessing from my father as well today we have gathered here today to pay our respects to the life and legacy of late shri anti ramarao garu on his centenary year his contribution to the field of art has been commendable and so has been his impact on the landscape of andhra pradesh politics as well to put it in another way he not only impacted the political scenario in andhra pradesh but has also impacted the political scenario in the entire country as well and i very humbly would like to place the statement before the august audience seated here his contribution to the field of entertainment as i had mentioned earlier is lives in the hearts of the people through his charisma and through his dedication as well and he actually breathed life very effortlessly into very diverse characters just as he is revered as lord rama lord krishna or lord shiva even to this day he is also loved as duryodhana and ravana as well and this could only be done by none other than late shri anti ramarao garu after his foray into politics it also brought forward another angle or another aspect which clearly emphasized how entertainment can actually impact society and we cannot refrain from saying that it was his foray into entertainment the field of entertainment that had actually seen him breeze into the uh, uh, the status of the chief minister of andhra pradesh as well and after he forayed into political life or rather public life he proved that politics or rather power is simply not for power but is also a medium of service to people the manner in which he empowered the marginalized sections of society more particularly the women wherein he ushered in reservations for women and beyond that he also gave equal properties uh, equal right to, rights and properties for women as well needless to say setting up the first mahila vishwavidyalaya in tirupati too and i take this opportunity to thank and welcome madam president shrimati draupadi murmu ji for having graciously accepted to release the commemorative coin of my late father shri nt ramarao garu i would also like to take this opportunity to thank the national president of bharti janata party shri jagat prakash nadda ji who has graced this occasion and has been a source of strength for me all through my journey in bharti janata party i would also like to take this 
opportunity to thank each one of my family who's been here, whose presence has actually made this occasion a very memorable one, a one that cannot be forgotten in life. I also should be thanking God on this occasion for having given me an opportunity not once but twice to pay my respects to my late father, Sri Nandamuri Tarak Ramaravagaru. He lives in our hearts, but yet there was one occasion when we were able to install his statue in the parliament, which was a momentous moment for me. And again, today, when we are having the commemorative coin on his name released on his centenary year. I think this has been God sent opportunity to me and a blessing from my father as well. Today we have gathered here today to pay our respects to the life and legacy of late Sri Enti Rama Rao Garu on his centenary year. His contribution to the field of art has been commendable and so has been his impact on the landscape of Andhra Pradesh politics as well. To put it in another way, he not only impacted the political scenario in Andhra Pradesh, but has also impacted the political scenario in the entire country as well. And I very humbly would like to place this statement before the August audience seated here. His contribution to the field of entertainment, as I had mentioned earlier, is, lives in the hearts of the people through his charisma and through his dedication as well. And he actually breathed life very effortlessly into very diverse characters, just as he is revered as Lord Rama, Lord Krishna or Lord Shiva even to this day, he is also loved as Duryodhana and Ravana as well. And this could only be done by none other than late Sri Enti Rama Rao Garu. After his foray into politics, it also brought forward another angle or another aspect which clearly emphasized how entertainment can actually impact society. And we cannot refrain from saying that it was his foray into entertainment, the field of entertainment, that had actually seen him breeze into the, uh, uh, the status of the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh as well. And after he forayed into political life, or rather public life, he proved that politics, or rather power, is simply not for power, but is also a medium of service to people. The manner in which he empowered the marginalized sections of society, more particularly the women, wherein he ushered in reservations for women, and beyond that he also gave equal, properties, uh, equal right, rights and properties for women as well. Needless to say, setting up the first Mahila Vishwavidyalaya in Tirupati too. 